as a technology utilized primarily for well cleanouts. Coil tubing has evolved tremendously along with the drilling and completions industry. Today, coil tubing can handle extremely complex environments, both on land and offshore. With nearly 40 years of experience, NOV quality tubing will remain at the forefront of providing this unique product to the oil and gas industry. Commitment to customer partnerships and innovation in design come together at the Houston Manufacturing Facility where the market-leading quality tubing product grades are produced. Before the production process begins, years of extensive collaboration with reputable steel suppliers ensures that only high-quality, special-grade steel is utilized for manufacturing the quality tubing product. Iron is the primary component of steel. In an integrated steel mill, the iron is created in the blast furnace, which produces what is known as pig iron. The melting shop refines the pig iron, removing impurities, and adds alloying elements specific to each grade of coil tubing raw material. Heavy slabs of steel are cast and stored on location at the steel mill until the rolling process. Utilizing carefully controlled heating and cooling, the rolling mills transform the large slabs into a coil of steel approximately 40 inches or one meter wide with excellent surface quality and tight dimensional tolerances. Finally, the coils are treated in an acid in order to remove the surface oxidation. This is known as pickling the steel. Then, they are oiled to protect the coil surface during transportation to NOV quality tubing. The average master coil that arrives at the quality tubing facility weighs about 42,000 pounds. That's equivalent to the weight of about seven pickup trucks. One can imagine the complex logistics behind transporting this immense weight. To simplify this process and ultimately cut production lead time, in 2013, Quality Tubing invested in an in-house slitting operation. To this day, this is a unique feature to the Quality Tubing production process. As the raw material arrives at the Houston facility, the process of slitting the master coil kicks off the manufacturing process. Using overhead cranes, the coils are loaded onto the slitter, where they are measured into appropriate slit strips. The slit dimensions are verified using a micrometer and calibers, and are held to a tolerance of plus or minus one one hundredth of an inch. The slitter can process a wide range of material at speeds up to 600 feet per minute. After slitting is completed, edge conditions are inspected and the material is packaged. Finally, each strip is barcode labeled to maintain inventory control. The next step is to join the strips together using a welding process originally patented by Quality Tubing, known as the bias weld. The bias weld is performed at a 45 degree angle to the strip. When the strip is rolled into a tube, the joint forms a spiral shaped connection which is much more effective than a straight connection, allowing for better distribution of stresses. Each bias weld is then inspected non-destructively by digital radiography or x-ray to industry-recognized specifications. Afterwards, the weld is polished flush with parent material, stress relieved by digitally controlled induction heating, and finally hardness tested in line. It's important to note that every bias line welder has been trained and certified against strict industry standards at the NOV Quality Tubing Welding School. As the strips are joined together, they are rolled onto the accumulator, which stores the jointed strips until the customer required length is reached. Now, the welding strip is ready to move to the tubing mill where it will be transformed into the continuous coil tubing product. At the tubing mill, the jointed strip is transformed into coil tubing 
using high-frequency electric induction welding. First, the mill's forming rolls are adjusted for the diameter and wall thickness of the specified order. The first series of rolls encountered by the strip start bending the edges of the strip upwards, forming a U-shape. The next series of rolls have vertical fins against which the strip is worked to prepare them for the weld rolls. After the strip is formed into a tube, it enters the induction welder, a coil excited by a high frequency current. In this process, the heat is confined along the edges of the formed strip. A set of rolls squeeze the strip edges together to produce the weld. Here, no filler material is added, keeping the composition of the weld lines the same as the body of the tube. Outer flash is then removed with a carbide cutting tool that is contoured to the diameter of the tubing being produced. This is called scarfing. At the customer's request and for certain applications, the inner flash can also be removed from the tubing with specific designs. The outer weld seam is then thermally processed to provide optimal properties. After thermal processing of the seam, the tubing enters the sizing section to control tolerances within plus or minus one one hundredth of an inch of the customer's specified outer diameter. Within the sizing section, tubing is inspected by the eddy current system to industry standards. The next phase is the stress relief, where the tubing is heated to a predetermined controlled temperature. In other words, it is further thermally processed around the entire body of tubing to control the properties. Following this, it is carefully connected to a spool. The tubing is continuously milling, so precision is key at this final stage. The milling process has low margin for error, from the extensive preparation of the equipment, including welding, temperature control, and sizing, tight specifications are always of utmost importance and have to be sustained for extensive hours of continuous operation, depending on order requirements. The Quality Control Lab plays an integral part in the manufacturing process of new tubing. In conjunction with the production department, the lab performs several tests on samples of new tubing to ensure the product conforms to specifications. These tests include dimensional inspection. Here, cross sections of the tubing from the beginning and the end of a milled length are measured for compliance to diameter, wall thickness, ovality, seam weld mismatch, and flash height tolerances. Metallographic Inspection During this inspection, sections of the finished tubing are viewed under high magnification to determine the quality of the grain structure of the steel. Tensile Testing At the lab, full section tubing samples from the beginning and end of each milled link are measured for yield strength, tensile limit, and elongation. Hardness Testing this test measures the hardness of the parent steel material, the weld line, and the heat-affected zone on both sides of the weld. After the string is milled, it moves onto the finishing department and goes through the hydrotest process. During a hydrotest, pH-controlled water is pumped through the string to specified pressures to check the integrity of the product. The minimum hold time for this test is 15 minutes at 80% of the specified minimum yield strength and 5 minutes at a 100%. For tapered strings, the hydrostatic pressure is that for the lightest wall thickness present in the string. Then, the tubing is gauge tested. A gauge ball of a specified diameter is circulated throughout with water pressure to ensure that there are no constrictions on the internal diameter surface. To dry out any residual water, the tubing is purged using nitrogen and wiper balls. 
This is followed by applying internal corrosion inhibitor throughout the internal surface. Finally, posse plugs are installed at both ends of the string to protect the inside of the tubing from the external environment. Next, the string is moved to the finishing building where it will be re-spooled and inspected further before shipping. At the finishing building, all strings are re-spooled and inspected. After the string is re-spooled onto the shipping spool, it moves on to the packaging area for full crating and installation of shipping cradles. For domestic orders, a customer may bring in their coil tubing unit or a skid reel. In this situation, the service department is responsible for spooling on the new tubing directly onto the customer's skid reels, units, or drop-in drums. Once new string is on the customer reel, both the tubing and reel pump iron are hydro-tested one final time to ensure job readiness. The service department also services, inspects, and repairs used customer tubing as required. The shipping department's objective is to ensure that the customer's investment is protected throughout its journey. Depending on the end destination and customer requirements, shipping provides a checklist to the finishing department on how to properly package the product for its journey. Quality Tubing's customers operate around the world. Therefore, the preparation and shipment of new tubing may require different processes. Domestically, the string is usually loaded onto a customer's reel. Alternatively, it can be packaged and shipped to the end destination on a shipping spool. For international locations, Quality Tubing coordinates vessel schedules, customs requirements, and notifies the customer where their product is at all times. Paying close attention from the time a quote becomes in order, we ensure a seamless exchange of the product over to the customer with all of the necessary documentation provided. In addition to manufacturing coil tubing, Quality Tubing provides additional services referred to as special projects. These may include cable injections and installations at the Quality Tubing facility as well as more complex operations such as fiber optics and concentric string installations. Based on customer requests, Quality Tubing can install wireline into new tubing or pump cable out from used tubing. These procedures are relatively routine and take place right at the service center site. The more complex group of services require setup outside of a Quality Tubing facility and they are referred to as laydown jobs, as they are performed in a remote location and require extended space to lay down the length of the coiled tubing string. Laydown jobs include E-line, fiber optics, ESP cable and concentric string installations. The special projects team works closely with the customer and the sales representative to fulfill all requirements and explore additional services a customer might be interested in. Quality Tubing has the most experience of any coil tubing provider in executing the services mentioned. The coil tubing production process requires high attention to detail and extensive experience. Our suppliers and every department at Quality Tubing possess both of these qualities and together we are dedicated to working with our customers to continue to advance the coiled tubing industry.